All right, this is the motor as it comes off of the airframe. We have, we, have, uh, we have to remove the prop adapter first, and then we'll remove the X mount as well, which bolts to the firewall. Okay, prop adapter is removed, X mount's off the back of it. Now we're going to loosen up the uh, set screws that go into the flat of the shaft so that we can pull the front half off and dispose of the bearing. Okay, we're going to take a, a small punch. We're going to get right on the end of the shaft here, and we're going to drive the shaft down out of the front housing, out of the can. Once that, that's out of it, then the main shaft, we don't have to take this off even, we'll slide it right out of the back. Okay. There's the shaft. Slide shaft completely out and it exposes the flats where it was locked on. Now you can take the can and pull the can straight off the front, fighting the magnets. Okay, so now we have the front bearing and the back bearing. The back bearing is a little larger. They're exposed now, so all we have to do is basically get in, in the shaft and go from the back side to try to push these bearings off. You want to do this very gently so you don't damage the bearings because the bearings that you have in here may still be good. And uh, there's also a machined lip on the inside that the bearing sits up against that sticks out approximately 16th around the outside edge. You don't want to break that off, so you want to make sure that when you're tapping on the bearing, you want to tap on the inner side of it here so you're not damaging the casing. Okay. So the rear bearing is now removed, and we didn't damage it, so we were able to push it out without breaking any of the um, ceiling surface of the bearing, so it's now out. Okay. One of the bearings is removed, the longer shaft tapered punch here makes it easier just to take the front bearing out. Okay. So okay. you can see on the front side, same thing, you have that, that area in there that you don't want to damage the machine surface. So we now have our new Boca bearing kit for the Omega 130. It, here's your front and your new uh, rear and front bearing. Now we're going to install the front bearing and the rear bearing into the housing. And uh, I found a good way to do this is to basically take the shaft because it allows you to be able to put the bearing in straight and go ahead and apply that into the shaft. That way you can get it straight and you've got to just tap it, tap it into position. So as long as you're holding it in your hand, it goes right into the case without damaging anything, without damaging side loading the bearing or anything like that. It's now in the case. Okay. We'll do the same thing to the front. Slip it down onto the shaft. Make sure we hit the back side of the um, other bearing. So we're ready to load that bearing into it. And you can hear it bottomed out, so it went right into where it's supposed to go. So we'll push the shaft back out. Make sure we retain the washer that's on the back side because that's going to give us our compression. The two new bearings are now installed, so I can come back in from the, the back side. And now when I go to put the can back on the front, what I want to do is I want to watch and see where my flat is. Because I want to make sure that that lines up with the set screw. As long as the fat flat lines up with the set screw, it'll hold your can in the proper position. Okay. okay, I've got the flat spot of the shaft up, and I'm keeping my finger on it so it doesn't rotate. And as I put the can on there, the magnetic energy is obviously going to pull it pretty tight. So I want to make sure that I keep the set screw lined up with this, the uh, flat spot. So what I'll do is I'll kind of let it jump onto it, make sure that it lines up. Now I, I don't want to rotate anything. I want to stand the motor upright, and I want to drive it down. Okay. Now, some motors like to be exactly flat on here, but you don't want it rubbing the back case. You want to make sure that you still have the gap, and it's got a little bit of forward and aft motion to it like this one does. And it's, this one just happens to be exactly flush with the top case. So now all we've got to do is lock down our set screws, put a prop adapter back on, and put our X-mount on the back. And